Good evening. I'm Dan Ashley. We're going to begin tonight with a meteor shower across the Bay Area. Here's what we know about it. Several callers say they heard a loud boom or an explosion and a possible streak in the sky around 745 tonight, about an hour and 15 minutes ago. One man said the light was very bright, even casting a shadow. Now, the callers were from Marin, the Fairfax area, Oakland and San Francisco. We also know that the Orion and Meteor Shower is peaking this weekend. Now, we are talking with astronomers about that tonight. We're working with them now. We'll have more on that story at 11 over on Channel 7. But we have asked Spencer Christian to check in with more on this for us tonight. Does something out there in the sky pretty interesting, Spencer? Apparently, that's true. Dan. And we've been getting calls in the weather office about it as well. And we have been trying to reach some official source who can confirm or deny that the meteors are what people have been seeing tonight. Uh, so far, no luck with that. We do know that the uh, meteor shower, which began yesterday, the 15th, will peak on Saturday the 20th. It is possible that that's uh, a, a shooting star or flash of light from the meteor shower is what people have been seeing. But again, no confirmation on that, so I don't want to speculate. across our local skies taken by the people well people in the right place at the right time with the camera ready to go professional astronomers now are weighing in on this unexpected show well meteors hit the earth's atmosphere all the time every day every hour uh, they're pretty common bright ones like this are pretty spectacular they happen a number of times a year so you just have to be in the right place at the right time to catch sight of one the direction this meteor was traveling pretty much uh, tells us that it was not an Orion it. It wasn't traveling. It didn't look like it was coming from the constellation Orion. All right, so let's go to Chief Meteorologist Jeff Ranieri in the Weather Center. Well, we were able to see this so clearly tonight. At least yes. a lot of people, our phones were flooded in the newsroom. So uh -huh. what's next the next few nights? Yeah, the reason why we're able to see that so brightly is because it was probably cooked up to about 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, traveling about 140,000 plus miles per hour. So a lot of you saw that bright flash, of course, the meteor in the sky. And what enabled us to see this so clearly was the moon was less than 10% visible at a crescent phase and also mainly clear visibility at 10 miles and or better. We had a little bit of haze out there, but again, widespread visibility of this meteor because of our very warm and hot weather that provided those clear skies today. Now we're going to see other meteors in the skies. We head throughout the next two to three days from the Orionid meteor shower. Best viewing will be as we head throughout Thursday after midnight. We're still expecting mainly clear conditions. You want to look southwest to the sky towards the constellation Orion, where we could see 50 to 70 meteors per hour that will be traveling again at 148,000 plus miles per hour. Could we see one as large as what we had tonight? Well, Mother Nature only knows the answer to that, so you'll have to get up and take a look out towards the sky. A meteor shower from Halley's Comet, presented by Science at NASA. Usually, waking up before sunrise is a good way to get a head start on the day. On October 21st, waking up early could stop you in your tracks. Blame Halley's Comet. Every year, in mid to late October, Earth passes through a stream of dusty debris from Comet Halley and the pre-dawn sky lights up with a pretty display of shooting stars. 
We expect to see about 25 meteors per hour when the shower peaks on Sunday morning, October 21st, says Bill Cook, the head of NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office. With no moon to spoil the show, observing conditions should be ideal. Because these meteors streak out of the constellation Orion, astronomers call them Orionids. The Orionid meteor shower isn't the strongest, but it is one of the most beautiful showers of the year, notes Cook. The reason is its setting. The shower is framed by some of the brightest stars and planets in the heavens. Constellations such as Taurus, Gemini, and Orion provide a glittering backdrop for the display. But that's not all. This year, Venus and Jupiter have moved into position with Sirius, the dog star, to form a bright triangle in the eastern pre-dawn sky. On the morning of October 21st, blazing pieces of Halley's Comet will cut straight through the heart of this celestial triad. To see the show, Cook suggests going outside one to two hours before sunrise, when the sky is dark and the constellation Orion is high overhead. Lie down on a blanket, with a broad view of the heavens. Although Orionids emerge from a small area near the shoulder of Orion, they will spray across the entire sky. Be prepared for speed, he adds. Meteoroids from Halley's Comet strike Earth's atmosphere traveling 148,000 miles per hour. Only the November Leonids are faster. Speed is important because fast meteors have a tendency to explode. Occasionally, Orionid fireballs will leave incandescent streams of debris in their wake that linger for minutes. Such filaments of meteor smoke twisted by upper atmospheric winds into convoluted shapes can be even prettier than the meteors themselves. It really is a wonderful morning to be awake, says Cook. Just don't plan on going anywhere in a hurry.